What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing part five of A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna get very far without any light. I should look for another light source. So we're back to where we was. Um, we literally just slid through this side window and uh, broke our flashlight. So that's just, you know, my luck, but let's see what we can find. Excuse me. So, Pat, I was able to get the lights working again, but I'll be honest. I don't know how long they're going to last since we can't actually swap out the wiring. Keep a couple of flares on you in case things go dark again. If you run out of flares, grab the dynamo flashlight, but let's only use that in emergencies, Dev. Okay. Where? Hold on. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot. I need to, uh... <laughs> I need to get used to being extra quiet again. loud sound. I'm bad at that. Oh shit. So this is the only way I can go. I'm hoping to get a good chunk of this game done. Like I feel like I'm getting closer to the end. And when that happens, I can cross another game off the list. Okay, I'm going... I'm going... Okay, that day, the day everything began, was it my fault? Would we have lost Robert anyway? For months, I've tried telling myself it was ine inevitable. But still, the guilt never fades. I can't turn back time. I can't change what happened. I can't even look ahead. It's too damn dark. Yeah, and it's really stupid dark in here. It's so hard to see. I'll probably, you know, bring up the brightness a bit when I edit the video so that way it's easier to watch. Did I just... Yeah, okay. Everything is locked in here. This is crazy. There we go. That one wasn't so bad. Okay, I think those are the flares. Okay, flares better than nothing. At least I can try to find a way out from this pump station. All right, I don't know how long it's been since Pat left. I stopped counting, stopped caring. All that's left is me and the waste. Nothing to do but sit here and watch it get purged to make way for something clean and pure. And it got me thinking, what if that's all this is? What if we're the waste and it's time for us to be purged? Is that really such a bad thing? I could make way for something better. Maybe the world didn't end after all. Maybe it's just our world that ended our world. G 
James, consider this my third formal request that proper ear protection be purchased for all employees. These new machines are so loud you can hear them from anywhere in the station. It's endless. Worst case scenario, it'll drive us all insane, but case, oh, best case, uh, we'll just have a permanent hearing loss. Let me know as soon as this has been addressed. Joe. Oh, too loud, too loud. Jesus. Is that just the sound effects? It sounds like something walking. This does not look like it's going to be fun. God damn. Flares, better than nothing. At least I can try and find a way out from this pump station. Okay, same thing. It's water, that's why. And I feel like if we try and walk through that, it'll probably hurt us. Maybe. Flares are actually pretty nice. All right, red ink, Pat, what the hell happened? What does it look like? A pipe burst. But how did it get so bad? This is why we don't, we do constant inspections to keep stuff like this from happening. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. I just don't understand how it got this bad. Uh, Devin, pipes burst. Are you going to help me fix her knots? Of course I am. Valves. Turn a valve to start or stop a water stream. Some pipes might need you to add the valve first. Okay, this place seems a maze and I'm the rat. I need to find a way out from this hell. Shit. Fuck.
trying to see how to equip the flares. Shit. Okay, I know the flares are full, but how do I actually get it? Okay. See, I was just not looking in the right spot, so my eyes were deceiving me. Let's try this way first. I do not want to walk all the way down there if I don't have to. Uh, of course I do. Luckily, these things don't set off too much sound. It's still under, <laughs> under the uh, spectrum that we need. Why can't I use it? Huh, for some reason it's not letting me use it. Maybe I just don't need it. Oh, I see. It's only doing that when I'm opening doors and stuff. Where is it? shit
I forgot about their ability to zone in. I'm screwed. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so we're back to where we started. I just gotta figure out where I'm going. I hate it when they do that. I wish I could find this dynamo flashlight. That would be very helpful. There's the valve. It's not a flashlight. And we have to go back out the way we came in. That's just great. Too fast. Oh, I see you over there. What is this? Here goes nothing. Oh, I gotta stop. Wait, what? Oh. I thought I seen that we needed a valve, but it's a ladder we can climb, thank God. I was like, do I have to go all the way back just to get the valve? Dude, you need to leave.
Did he not hear that? There's the valve I need. We need this. For sure. I hate that they can do that now. Can I not go through there? Guess not. What was the point of that then? Wait, what? confused ah uh, okay I think I know probably just grab it through the fence like that That's too close.
Okay. <laughs> Thank you. To slow down a bit. Some, pi some of the pipes are leaking badly, really badly. I know, I know I should have stopped the problem before it started, but I can't predict the future. All right, I'll do what I can to fix them, but we're sta uh, starting to run low on supplies. At least the bursts are intermittent. So it's not a constant problem. Small wins, right? This is probably going to be very bad, but I'm going to wait until the water starts again. Right here. <laughs> and hopefully that will mask the sound. I don't know. No, it did not. But hey, at least we're not dead yet. But I do have to have a flare right now.
did not mean to do that. It's not what I wanted to do. Yes, that's what I wanted. There's the plank. I was like... Oh, there's some more reading right here, too. Uh... Oh, wait. We already read through that one. Okay. What? Why can't I remove this screw? confused. And I can't remove the plank either. because I need to unlock this first, I think. No? I am confused. Hold on, let me see where we're at. Right, I get that, but... You're not letting me remove the other screw. Oh, my game is glitching out. Yeah, something happened. I'm gonna have to hopefully start back from where this left off. So luckily we were able to start back where we, uh, where we left off. Okay. 
And there's a door over here, which I didn't see last time. I want to see over what I want to see what's over here this time. Oh yeah, that you, I do remember that door now. It was just locked. And that one's locked too. Okay, let's see if it's gonna work this time. I'm hoping for the best. I don't think there was a lock that we can unlock here. Yeah, okay. So let's, I guess, do this one first. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it wouldn't let us do, uh, wouldn't let us do it last time. Oh, Jesus, I can't see for shit. What? No way. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Alright, Devin, I'm sorry to tell you like this, but I didn't want to fight about it. By the time you read this, I'll be gone, but just for a few days, long enough to check on my parents. I need to make sure they're okay. I'll be back in five days, six tops, and I'll bring back supplies. I'll even try to get into the hardware store in town and grab us some of the wires we need. Everything will be fine while I'm gone, I'm sure of it. The station's in good shape, and I know you got this shit on lockdown. Be safe, be quiet, Pat. This is a long one. Okay, a series of handwritten messages, one set in blue ink and the other in red. Devin, you've been seeing this shit the mo with the monsters? Uh, yeah, it's nuts. You think anyone survived? I mean, we're alive, right? I uh, gotta be others out there. My parents, they gotta be all right. Your phone got any reception? No. Yeah, same. What do we do, Pat? I mean, if there's, if there are other survivors out there, they're going to need clean water, do you think? Don't you think? I guess. Well, it's not going to stay clean for long if something happens to this place, so I say we do it. Do what? Keep this place going. I don't know what the hell else we can do, but if we keep this station running, then maybe we'll help someone. F it. Let's do it. We... 
We are okay. Damn. That's insane. Okay. They're alive, Eric and Josh, the father and son we met at the camp. I didn't think anyone from the camp survived what happened near the train wreck except for me and Cameron, but I was out scavenging and saw them. Josh waved and smiled when he saw me. Eric looks even more on edge than he did at camp, but who could blame him? Every day you keep your child alive in this world, you are defying the odds. Josh wrote me a note asking if Cameron and I were still heading for the harbor. I said eventually, but that was a lie. I've been terrified to move Cameron. Eric looked at his son and son for a long moment. Then he wrote that Cameron and I could travel with them to the harbor. I understood why. It's not enough to keep your child alive in this world. They need to have a friend to have a life. I want my son to have hope. If you find this, you are welcome to the supplies we've left. I hope you pass the same kindness along to others. There is already enough selfishness in this cruel world. Cat. Please tell me the flashlight's in here. Oh, damn it. Jesus, that was a big pill. I don't care what it takes, I am not giving up. Just keep going. All right, to the person that finds this, hi, this is a boat, my boat, I named him Bob. When I'm scared, I look at Bob, the boat, and imagine we're sa we are sailing somewhere safe where nothing bad can happen. But I don't have to imagine anymore because mom said we're going on a real boat to somewhere that's really safe. So I won't need Bob anymore, but you might. So when you're scared, just look at Bob and sail. Cameron. P.S. You can all also have my sailing book. You're going to need to figure out what kind of boat Bob is. Well, I think we got screwed out of the flashlight, but it's going to happen. He gave my son a book, that's it, that's all. At the camp, a soldier whose name I don't remember, God I wish I could remember, gave my son a book on sailing and changed his life. For the first time since all this began, Cameron was excited, was excited about something. Within a week, he was drawing every type of ship imaginable. Days after that, he had the whole book memorized. Cameron's been quiet ever since the massacre near the train wreck, but still, he reads his book. The soldier left shortly after giving Cameron that book and never came back. I'm so sorry I can't remember his name, but I hope someone finds this note and if you do, know that a kind soldier gave a scared little boy the greatest gift. Cat. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? We're not out of here just yet.
I'll come back to that. I want to see what's down here. And just in case we're missing something. Like that. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Or, or the flashlight. You never know. Yep. Still got a ways to go, it looks like. Alright, two weeks. That asshole's been gone for two weeks. Pat's not coming back. There's no way. Did he tell me? Did he lie to me? Did he know he wasn't coming back but just didn't want to admit it? I be I'd believe it. That dick loved making plans but got bored when it came to actually doing the work. And who was always left to pick up the slack? Me. It happened with softball and it's the same damn thing that's happening at the end of the world. Some people never change or maybe he was coming back but something happened. Did one of those things get him? I don't know. I'll never know if I should mourn or mourn him or hate him. Devin, so there's been a complication in the pump rooms A and B. If I close the pumps, it sets off large water bursts. At this point, I'm not sure what's to do about it. Not close the pumps, I guess. Huh. So, I mean, yeah, we're still in here. So there's still a good chance that we will find a flashlight. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I didn't already pass that up somewhere. How am I supposed to uh, deal with that? Oh, fuck me. There's no way. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. That was insane. I'm dead. Yep. No! No! Hey, well, at least it gave me a good start. Oh, fuck me. This is insane. Okay, um... How the hell are we 
we supposed to get up there? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're... Oh, that was too fucking close. It's working, now I have to find the second valve and close it too. We're going to go back up. Wait, it's over there? Yeah. It's gonna take a little bit.
but surely I do need to take some uh, an inhaler though. I see him up there. He just jumped down. That's great. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What? Now we're going the right, right way. Was that? Oh, that's him, of course. Fuck. That's too close, too close. There's the valve, perfect. Gotta hurry up. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, Jesus, this is difficult. Oh, Jesus, that was very, very intense. We're still not out of the woods yet either. This is crazy, too crazy. Yes, the pool is drained and now just the hell out, get the hell out of here. Check this out over here.
Manual flashlight. Okay, right. Use uh, left trigger to recharge the manual flashlight. Beware of the noise. Okay. Well, at least we found a version of the flashlight. I don't know if this was the one that they were talking about in that note. Hell yes. I could finally go outside during daylight. That's a huge help. All right, so we made it through the pump station. Day 120. And sun's starting to go down. Come on, keep going for Martin, for dad, just get to the harbor. All right, so open air again. I can feel the sea breeze and it helps. It helps a lot, like I can believe a future is possible. Jesus, will I really be a mother? Will I be a good one? Mom, how the hell did you do that? That boat can't be far. So do we have to go around? Yes, I think we have to go around this way. Dude, that looks so, so cool. Wow. Look at that. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Wait, hold on a sec. Is that which path is the right way to go? Oh, there's something right here. Oh shit, you gotta be kidding me. I don't know what the combination is. Maybe we'll find a note over here somewhere, because I want to know what's in there. Fuck. So either way, either way works.
All right. Hey, Dad, you finally decide to use the briefcase. Gotcha. Okay. I got you. I just think about the ingredients for Mom's apple pie. Six eggs, two cartons of milk, and nine apples. Six, two, nine. Perfect. So six. Two. And nine. Okay, cool. Sweet stories to fall asleep to. Let's hope this helps with the nightmares. Woohoo, you figured out my puzzle. Good job, Dad. Mom didn't think you could do it. I was hoping there was going to be something cooler in there. I mean, there was inhalers, which is nice, but we're all full up on that. See if there's anything we're missing or anything we can pick up. Like another another one of those space shuttles. Shit. There's a dead body over there. Oh shit, he's up there. Gotta figure out a way through uh through this building. The auto care. Through the auto shop we go. I think. No. Okay. We have to go a different way. This door over here? Well, now I'm just confused. Okay. Uh, 
So it doesn't tell us anything else specific. I don't think we can crawl under here, no. Oh, what's this? Oh, just pills, okay. Oh, wait, okay. I think there's something over here that I missed. Maybe? Yes, okay, cool. Too bad we don't have any more, uh, flares. All right, here we go. At least we're out of there. Okay, so... Okay, so I just, wait, I just have to go through the tech store and I can do that, okay. a very bold risk on that one, but I gotta have the flashlight. To power door flip switch. Alright, Private Haskell. Do not ask me how, do not ask me why, but for some ungodly reason, the warehouse is the only remaining power source. Excuse me. 
on this block. So if you want lights in the hardware store, go to the warehouse hoping to turn on the refrigerators on in the 24-7. Go to the warehouse wishing you could get into the tech store, but apparently their stupid doors won't even work without electricity. You guessed it. I've hooked up a cable to run from the tech store to the warehouse. If the power goes out again, you'll need to go to the warehouse to flip the switch. But hopefully, that should do it. Corporal Harrison. P.S. Joking aside, do not divert any power to the 24-7. Nobody should have to see what's inside. All right, the amount of dust inside is ex is extreme. I went to connect some cables and coughed so badly I alerted a creature. I was able to sneak out by the time he had, it arrived, but I got lucky. If you must enter, I wish you the same luck. Okay. So I have to go somewhere else to flip that switch. Okay, here we go. Probably should pull that out before I do that. to put the ladder. Oh, right here. Sweet. I can't wait to get this power on, cause damn, it is freaking... Oh my god. Okay, where do I gotta go? Oh, I am walking too fast. Wait, what did that say? Okay, I already did that. Well, not yet, I gotta turn the power on first.
took forever to pour it out. I just want, I just wanted to drop it. We're out of lights. Uh, let's see. Almost there. Wait, so I get I'm supposed to go. So I'm supposed to go over here. There, okay. I'm glad I looked. I have a better idea. We're gonna go back down this ladder. And we are going to grab one of those sandbags and hightail it out of here. Can we not go back out this window? I'm gonna be so pissed if we can't. We can't, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I see, I gotta move these. Good. We're almost there. street seems blocked I have to cut through the roof um oh 
Oh, fuck. Here we go. Okay. Oh shit, did not mean to do that. Come on, don't slow down now. If I can make it to the diner, I can catch my breath. Shelter ahead, get out. Uh, get to the diner, okay. Alright, note to self, if you forget the code for you know what, just look at this strange monster. Okay. Nice. Uh, of course, it's locked. Alright, I can see them, so many boats sitting in the harbor, all about to leave, all heading for safety. They're so close, if I could shout, they might even hear me. So this is it, and why? Because when there is a national crisis, people panic and go to the grocery store, end of the world, monsters killing people in the street, and the a whole mob gets the bright idea to rush into my goddamn store and start fighting over toilet paper. Toilet paper. <laughs> punching each other, yelling at each other. I try to stop them, I try to keep the peace, but it's too late. Those things are already here, and I ha I, and I pay the price. I hate customer service.
Oh shit. So I will silence the sound of your songs. Where is this asshole at? Steve, we are in, we're inside. that we can use this little nice little kind of safe area I'm gonna charge the flashlight as much as possible <laughs> it's full all right let's move on shall we sucks. That really sucks. You know, they always asked me to play for them on the weekends, mom and dad. I mean, your grandma and grandpa, especially your grandma, when... I didn't feel like it. I'd get so grumpy with them. Jeez, I was an a-hole. Who knew the world would become the nightmare it is today? I will play for you whenever you want. Front cover of a children's book, Friendly Friends from Outer Space by Angela, oh, Angelina Lostwood. Back cover, when the strange visitors first arrived from outer space, everyone at Old Husik Elementary School was really scared. Principal Gorlo even fainted. But when I turned out these, uh, when it, but when it turned out these visitors were just looking for a space that would that was nice and quiet to take a nap, everyone was thrilled. We know lots of good places to nap, squealed the students. We're gonna show you all our favorites. Oh wow, this is a really long one, so bear with me. 
Why am I even thinking about this? It's bullshit. It's piss. It pisses me off. I built this place. I worked triple shifts for years until I could afford to pay a full staff. I learned how to make coffee so scald, scal, uh, so scalding hot. Even the widow, Miss Markle, would drink it. I am the beating heart of this diner, me. But still, I'm thinking about leaving this place behind and making for the harbor. I always swore that if I had my way, I'd die here over a plate of scrambleds. Yeah. So why not go down with the ship? Like a real captain. Who am I kidding? I know why. Zoe. Here with her mom, June, when it happened, stooped over a new comic. Like always, June didn't make it. My whole staff and every regular wiped out, except for Zoe. She won't make it to the harbor alone. She don't stand a chance, but I can't just leave this place, can I? I thought Zoe was just reading one of her comics for the hundredth time, but then I realized she was making one herself. Only 12 and uh, a freaking artist. I wish June could see it. Zoe said she was drawing the hero, a barbarian chef or something. And God strike me down if I don't look just like, if it don't just look like me. Me, the hero. I gotta do it. I gotta get Zoe to the harbor. If someone finds this, know that there were good times in, the, in this diner. Lots of them. It was for the best. It was. A young couple stumbles into my diner and is so grateful for the food and supplies that they're willing to take Zoe down to the harbor. Everybody wins. Everybody. How could you just do that? I hope Zoe can see that one day. I hope she'll get away. Get why I lied. Uh, she wouldn't have left if I didn't. And if telling her I'm going to meet her there gets her to the harbor, then it's worth it. It is. I'm not the guy for uh, from her comic. I'm not a hero. I'm just a poor Irish man with the best diner in Clinton. Someone really cares a lot about his diner. That's messed up, man. Okay, hi everyone. Just a reminder, the door code is changed every week, so the code will always be the current month plus the Monday of the current week. Yes, it's a bit confusing. No, we haven't come up with a better solution. So, uh, current month plus the Monday of the current week. So... So, it would be Monday the 15th. Okay. So, so 0615? Charge all the way. There we go. Oh wait, just, yeah, 615. I thought I had more than, I thought it was a total of four numbers. Here we go. I'm going to try and finish this entire game today, hopefully. Um, all right, I can do this. I can, I can. All I have to do is find a boat. That piece of shit.
I feel like we are almost to the end of the game. That's what I was looking for right there. That's perfect. Shit. Don't talk, don't cry, don't scream. Hey, it worked out. I gotta somehow get in there and get the plank. I'm assuming because there's one right there. Here we go. Perfect. So obviously people are gone. So uh, I'm assuming we're looking for a boat ourselves that we would just, you know, sail away on by ourselves. Oh, did not mean to do that. Okay. Sean, a listener, a listener heard us. Annie and Lee didn't make it. I'm scared. I'm alone, but I'm here waiting. See you soon. Barbarian chef. Zoe. Oh, I got to put that down. Shit. Okay, I gotta take this. And screw it, literally. Luckily, I didn't get killed. What did that just say? Fuck, no boat at the docks. We didn't come this far for nothing. We have to keep going. There must be another boat somewhere. It can't end like this. It won't.
is that? All right, urgent, immediate evacuation order civilians to boats. This is an urgent message we received directly from the National Guard. We must evacuate civilians immediately. Gather and transport them to all available boats. We were told it's essential to get them off the mainland. And that silence is paramount. We don't know why, but the chief is, uh, is guessing nuclear. The National Guard is en route to provide assistance, establish an assembly point at our local dock, deploy teams to assist with organized evacuation, prioritize clear communication and composure, coordinate with our commander, uh, with our command center and the National Guard for updates and support. Time is critical. Act now to ensure success. Stay safe. Stay vigilant. Oh, shit. Grab this real quick. And then I'm going to go back over here because there was a spot I missed. A couple spots, actually. I'll put that there. Wait a minute. Ah, I see. Okay, so I can use this right here. So we had to do this again. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that here for now and not do all the extra shit I just did. And we'll go ahead and just do this real quick. Try and not get killed again. I have died so many times on this game, on this playthrough. <laughs> well, it, the game in general. This door right here is very loud. I need to be very careful. Okay. Well, I thought there was gonna be something, I don't know, more important in here. Honestly, if I would have known that uh it was that, I wouldn't <laughs> it wouldn't have came all the way over here.
Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing now. This thing gonna be so freaking loud. There we go. Shh, okay. Very few ships remain, a couple set sail, most were attacked and sank before they could before they could get far enough from land. The chances of taking off without those things hearing you aren't odds that I'd take, but to any who do risk it, I'm rooting for you. Shit, okay, so we need to go... Over here... Yes. It should have been me. I'm the one who stepped on that glass, who drew that thing's attention, but the officer shot at it, distracted it. He gave his life for mine. Why? Why should I live and he die? He was, ex he was actually helping people, but me, I'm just... Screen feedback. While near a lit screen, creatures cause interference with the device's signals. A loud noise will set off feedback that disturbs and distracts them. 
That's good to know. I see. So, we're literally just trying to get the hell out of here. That's it. So, we're, I, I, yeah, I do believe we are getting clo really close to the end of the game. There's some boats right there. Wait, is that a boat? It's tough to tell. Still, it's my best bet. I should explore the fire station. Okay, so that was part five of A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. I was thinking that I was going to be able to finish the entire game, but I mean, it's okay. I got a huge amount done today, which I'm very ha happy with. And uh, this game, does not disappoint. Every time I play through uh, this game, it's always just as fun as the other times. The first time, uh, game just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Uh, but I, however, I do feel like we are definitely getting closer and closer to the end. If not, already pretty much there. I feel like maybe it's possible the next one, part six, will probably end up being less than an hour long. Because uh, I think we're that close, but I could be wrong. We'll see whenever I get around to playing the next parts uh, But we're almost there. I do know that but yeah, I love this game Like I said many times before This play style is so Stressful but a lot of fun and I cannot wait to see what happens in the end And I cannot wait to go ahead and make that little check mark to the box next to this game uh, so we know that we've completed it. And then the only other game I need to complete after that is Silent Hill 2, the remake. 
And I did figure out the uh, situation. I had help from my best friend. He uh, told me about the software. I was able to um, figure out all the uh, corrupted data files and certain things I needed to uh, delete. And uh, so Alan Wake 2 is still on the board now. Uh, so I'll get around to doing that as well. And I'm trying to get everything out of the way and finished before uh, the in new Indiana Jones game comes out because that's going to be my a huge part of my main focus on this channel. Uh, I know I, I mostly always do horror games, but sometimes uh, I'll make an exception for specific, specific games, and Indiana Jones is definitely on that list. So when that comes out, we will be playing through that. But I was hoping to get at least at least this one, A Quiet Place or uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake um, done, completed, so we have less... Uh, less, uh, you know, full games to go through, like huge long games that take more than an hour. Um, but yeah, we'll get it all done. I'm very excited to uh, to play through the uh, Indiana Jones game. I cannot wait. But uh, in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it, and it helps out my channel so much. It makes it go, makes it go a long way. And uh, if you are seeing one of my videos for the first time. If you happen to stumble on my channel and you like what you see, please consider sticking around and subscribing, and I hope to see you all next time.